Hi everybody, this is the Super Genius 55, and if you're wondering why I'm suddenly on this screen, uh, something interesting happened. Basically, I went to fight Bald Bull, and he ended up being the first person to actually knock me down. And I just found out that my audio, that, that my, I wasn't actually recording audio, like my commentary, I mean, not the game's audio, but I was recording the game's audio, but not my own commentary, so you actually don't get to see, you won't get to see the fight where he knocked me out, and I actually lost. And I'm not too happy about this being the one fight that I have to redo so far, I mean, because as delightfully insane as Bald Bull is, he's not exactly my favorite opponent. I mean, his title defense working in this fight is not exactly my favorite in terms of... Like, he's it's, it's not very fun to fight, in my opinion. It gets really... Di it's difficult, yeah, but it's also kind of monotonous, and you're gonna see why. It can also be kind of luck-based. Um, losing both of my stars there was actually really bad, because you do need stars for the things to happen, and uh, if you are familiar with this game, you know what I'm talking about. Um, how you get stars is when he, when he does that attack where he fusses about with his hands. And I don't know why I use that kind of phrase. Um, there's, a, there are two ways to knock him out. One I'm about to show you. You basically, when he does the bull charge and he gets right back up, instead of dying like he usually does, you just, as soon as he takes the first step, you do a star punch, and by the time he comes back, he'll get caught in your star punch. Basically, just press the A button. Once he, like right after he takes, once he takes his first step, um, you also can get stars by uh, when he does that attack where he twirls his hands around. Um, when you hit him, when he, when his head bounces back at you, you punch him again at a very specific timing, and you get a star. Uh, the other way to knock him down um, is to just when he's at really low health, use a star punch. You actually can't knock him down using a normal punch at all. You have to use star punches. Either, you know, at the end of his bull charge, or... Right when he's at about the health that I have. So now I have to make him do that attack where he, you know, twirls his... Well, I was trying to get him do his, to do his attack where he twirls his hands around. But, you know... Check no such Seems luck like for me for the Stupid Genius 55. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I like his character in this fight, the fact that you have to get use a star punch to knock him down just makes this kind of, well, not just kind of tedious, really frustrating, especially since it can get kind of luck-based in that manner. And as I said, the timing for the star punches is very specific. At least he's doing the bull charge again. That's that's unfortunate for me. Unless I get get knocked down, which thank God I didn't. Whenever he just walks towards me, I've never missed the star punch, but I always worry that I'm about to miss it. That I that I will miss it. I mean, and that's not you know. It's I guess the same ordeal that I had with the Great Tiger kind of thing. But yeah, you know, for a fight that requires star punches, it's kind of funny how he just doesn't give you as many opportunities. You'd think if he... From a characterization standpoint, if he give you... If he makes it so that you can only knock him down with a star punch, you would have think that, that you know, you would have had to sacrifice the ability uh, to resist giving the opponent star punches, or however it works in this... I have no idea how the star punch actually works, like, in the universe, but... Like, how the science of it works is what I mean. And I always seem to lose it at the right time... the wrong time for me, right time for him. And I don't know why I got him to such low health, because... Chances are, I'm not gonna be able to get that star punch. I mean, to get a star. Do a star punch. Thank God I've been just not being able to resist his, uh, bull charge, uh, every time. If he does one more of those, I'm probably good, but if not, then I'm gonna have to take him into round three, probably. 
Uh, as I said, this is kind of a tedious fight. Not kind of, it was. Gee, have I emphasized that yet? Especially since he has those uppercuts that come really quickly. Like, you know. So I hope he does a ball, ball charge sometime soon, because I want him to. But it, he's probably not, considering it's a... Even if he does now, it's going to take too long to lie in, so... At least I haven't been knocked down. I'm not quite sure if I'll win by decision. I'm really not sure how that, how winning by... I'm thinking if I don't knock him down enough times, then... I, if, if I have to make it so that, uh, we, I, that goes to the referee's decision, I'm kind of wondering if he'll give it to me, because... Um, since I've knocked him down more often than he has knocked me down, I think that would give me kind of... Uh, I thankfully have actually knocked him down now with a star punch. And in fact, there's actually been situations where uh, I had almost... He was at just... He had just barely enough health to survive a star punch. And that was so frustrating because when you punch him, when you punch him so that all his health is gone and he gets right back up, he has uh, more health than a star punch will, you know, diminish. Basically, once once you've gotten him down to full, uh, no health and he just gets right back up, you can't knock him down with a normal star punch immediately. You have to actually wait. Because, well, not wait. Well, you have to not dwindle his health down even more. Um, uh, what was really gonna say? I was gonna say something here, but I don't know what. I like how this fight did kind of go for a bit of a different, more strategic approach in a game that's kind of that you know where the character is already kind of strategic, but not kind of very uh, methodical and strategic. Like Little Mac is a very strategic, fighting very strategically. I mean. Also, in Bald Bull, does that twirling his hands attack, as I'll call it. Um, he sometimes he'll uh, punch you right when he looks up. So remember that, because um, for some reason, he didn't get a star. What? I don't get a star. Why do I not get a star? What? That's never happened to me before. Why do I not get a star? And I'm knocked down now. That's perfect. So perfect. Why did I not get a star there? That's new to me, people. That is new to me. Like, when he... When I knocked him right at his... Uh, in the stomach when he was doing that bull charge. Why was I not given a star? That's never happened to me before! That's never happened! Ever! Like, ugh! And I'm gonna have to take it into a split decision. Not split. Rest decision now. Thank you, Ball Bull. Thank you, game! Ugh, that's never happened! I'm sorry, that's just never happened before. Have I emphasized that enough that it's never happened to me before? If he chooses Bald Bull! If he chooses Bald Bull! Thank you. If he chose Bald Bull, he would have more than, uh, Aaron Ryan. Well, considering he's already been attacked by Aaron Ryan and Bald Bull himself. Thank- he- he- he, yeah, he should thank his lucky stars he did not choose Bald Bull. Ugh, that was not. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I, did I? I had a total freak out there. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. How does that happen, people? How does that happen? <clears throat> so now that I've uh, calmed down after that big freak out I had, let's go to Super Macho Man. He's trying to get our title, and in uh, instead of the cocky, uh, you know, um, movie star kind of. Uh, the guy he was supposed to be, he's now in a dark, brooding, like, revenge wanting. I see, Little Mac is even in his territory, it seems, taking all the fame that he once had. And the spotlights appear, appears not to be, appears to not be, liking him very much. I don't really know how to narrate this. This is actually, 
despite, um, thankfully, even though I didn't like Bald Bull very much, this fight is actually a lot more fun. Um, kind of funny. I think I mentioned in my, uh, the first time I fought him that, uh, a lot of people beat him in Contender on their first try. I actually had quite a bit of trouble with him, but on his Contender and then Title Defense, uh, actually didn't give me as much trouble for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. Um, he basically does the same pat, uh, he does, uh, he's one of those fighters that do does mostly the, uh, he has a fa a really fast attack and then a really attack that, a delayed attack that you need to dodge, that if you dodge too early, you will get hit in. Like, you can't dodge it too early. Um, and he does those, and of course that's how he tries to trick you. And of course he also has that macho spin, or mock spin, or whatever that he calls it. That, that knocks you down in one hit. I, no, sorry, that doesn't, but a variant of that does knock you down one hit. And you actually have to have pretty good timing for the variant. Where he stands back and says, Super Macho Man. Uh, I can't listen to the audio, but if you ever said release the bogus or release the dude, which would be kind of begun. They used to be internet memes. Maybe they still are, I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, it looks like he's not going to be taking my title today, unlike Bald Bull and that one you didn't see, because, you know, uh, you've never seen the Stupid Genius 55 fail, so maybe it didn't happen. Like, you can't you can't prove that I didn't get, that uh, I lost the title, that belt there, technically. It could have just been someone else. It could have been Green Chump 1. Green Chump 1, blame him. He's the one who did it. Green Chump 1 is the one who lost to Bald Bull, people, not me. I never fail. Now that I've gone down to really low health, well, <sighs> right before I would have gotten a technical knockout of Ghost Round 2, that's all so nice, right? You know, that's just something I'm, I love that, don't you realize? That's just something that hap that's, wow, that crowd does really bad aim if none of, if only the tomato hit. I probably should have saved that Star Punch for later, because it would have taken away more of his health. Like, well, he would have had more health to take away, more specifically. But, <sighs> yeah, here he is. Um, I don't really know how to get a Star Punch from that attack where he just says, feel the burn. You know, I wonder why, when he crouches to the right... Whenever he crouches to the right, why he's what he's doing with his hands, he's like he does this weird hand motion. Um, thankfully, I've knocked him down a couple times. I have two minutes left to get him knocked down a third time, so I'm probably good. Maybe he'll do. Maybe he'll get knocked down once when he does that macho, those three macho spins. Wow, that was a big fa he, he comboed me, I guess you could say. But then again, considering that they don't really combo you in, I guess, the traditional way, it's kind of pretty big fail on my part. I'm starting to suck, I just realized. Um, he also has this weird attack where he... Um, you know that attack where he just goes to the left? He says, pump it, I think. And it's it's kind of weird. Why does he say, like, pump it? Um, but I think I've got him as good as dead. Well, not dead, but... Also, he has white hair. Why? Maybe it's, like, silver blonde? Or else it's... Or else he... Like, he's he's only 27, if I remember correctly, so... But we now have the champion to conquer. No, sorry, the previous champion to defend our title from, I mean. Hi, sorry I had to cut the video there. I actually had, uh, something. Um, I got called into work tomorrow. Um, but we have Mr. Sandman here. He's got... For some reason he has a mohawk, or maybe it's a faux hawk now. And, uh... Um... 
They actually decided to make him look a little bit more like Mike Tyson in this version for some reason. Uh, you know, because like Mike Tyson from the NES, he was in the NES Punch-Out, and they even give him a winking kind of... He has, he has a wink punch that was sort of similar to what Mike Tyson did in the NES Punch-Out. And he levels a building because, you know, he sees a picture of Little Mac. And I guess they intended for him to be, like, really, really scary in this one. <laughs> but he just... He's hilarious to me for some reason. Ugh. But yes, I have to work tomorrow, so... um, th uh, Thankfully, I actually had some videos that I forgot to upload, which I guess will make it feel like I was... Up, which I... I know that I'll make up for the lack of uploads tomorrow, so... So I'll be busy. Um, sounds like I'll actually be busy there as well. Um, I'm, I was trying to get star punches, like extra star punches on him, but no such luck for me, it seems. Um, sometimes when he, you know, he, when he does that Dreamland Express thing, he'll also he'll do those, like, fake, like, ooh, things, you know, where he makes it look like he's about to, uh, you know, do an uppercut, but he doesn't. Uh, I still know the purpose of that is, because, you know, if you dodge, it's not like there's any kind of penalty that's given. Um, even, uh, you know, like this. And now, whenever he gets up, he'll start doing those wink punches again. If you punch him in the exact direction he winks, and the timing has to be somewhat specific, Somewhat specific, did I say? <laughs> no, it somewhat specific works grammatically. Sorry. Um, sorry for people who just can't stand the misuse of the English language. Well, actually, I was complaining about a misuse of the English language, so I guess it makes me a hypocrite. Thankfully, I have three stars, and that Dreamland Express for me is really easy to avoid, so... Thank, uh, thank God for that. Um, he keeps doing them, I've noticed. That's just gonna make him... Uh, it's just gonna make me defeat him quicker, so it actually works out to my advantage here. After you knock him down twice, he'll do... Well, on his third knockdown, he'll do the same thing every time, but I'm gonna have to take him into the third round, so he's not gonna continue doing this what he's about to do here into the third round. Also, when he does a wink punch in uh, the third round, it doesn't... Uh, what, what am I what's I'm looking for? Uh, when he does a wink punch in the third round, you, you can't punch him in the face to get a star again. But it'll actually kind of follow a pattern. Some... Um, and sometimes these wink punches can kind of get me. Uh, well, one of those wink punches got me, but sometimes they, uh, just trip me up. In the sense that uh, I can't really... Like, I can't time it properly. Actually, I don't need to keep doing those wink punches. He's pretty much can go down now. And now that I've knocked him... I knocked him down three times in the first round, and now that I've knocked him down another time, he does the exact... He always does the same thing on his third knockdown. Um, even though it's the second knockdown of this round, it's enough to... Basically, if you knock him down more than three times, he does the same pattern. And three times in total, not just three times in a round, so don't worry, he's not... Even then, I'm not saying this fight isn't difficult, though. Um... I'm not saying this fight, well, it wasn't difficult since it's about to end. <laughs> they give you a free star punch there, and, you know, well, the rest is history, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's not to say he's a difficult opponent. He did take me, well, quite a few times to beat the first time. And ironically, the previous champion wasn't able to take my belt back. The only one who did was uh, Bald Bull. So I guess I have had one loss on the save file. And one of, it was one of those off-screen. And considering he did manage to piss me off, I guess Bald Bull is, like, the greatest opponent. In a way.
in a way, not in a way, but a way. I don't know what a way is, but it sounds tasty. Sounds delicious. And you'd think that it'd show us some credits again, but it has a little continue sign down there. What is it? Well, it, you're going to have to find out in the next episode, unless you're familiar with this game, in which case, I guess, if you like my commentary, then I suppose you'll like what comes next.